Right, again, internet. More GOAT TV for you. Um, this is just a very short video uh, because yesterday I made a long unpackaging and story video about the new pickup I've got from Bare Knuckle Pickups um, and the guitar it's going to go into. So I'm going to do a quick version because that was like 12 minutes long and it's taken forever up to upload and it was really dark because I did it in my basement and I had to talk quietly because it was very late. So I'm going to do a quick one now um, without all the... <laughs> story behind it and just tell you what's what so first of all very quickly very quickly this is the guitar that the pickup's going in okay gibson sg junior 60s from 2012 it's got a shallow 451 bridge that i put on it it's got these cool radio shack knobs that i put on there uh it's otherwise it's standard and this is uh, a torrified maple fretboard not rosewood or, or um uh, ebony it's maple, but it's baked maple, heat treated maple. So it's really, really nice, super slick. Love it. Anyway, so this pickup is getting replaced. If you want to know why, you can watch the other video. Okay, the long bloated video, all right? But I'm not going to talk about that now. So this was the box it came in. Bare knuckle pickups, all right? Spoke to Timmy there, was awesome, um, and answered loads of questions. Um, totally cool. Great customer service, it was really nice. So it was good to talk to him. Um, so that's the box. Okay, what came in the box? The first thing that came when I opened it, because I ordered these actually, these are pickup mounting screws, uh, but they are, I oh know they're just standard. I thought they were hex nuts, they're not. They're just a flathead type, but they're really nicely machined, okay? And there's a sticker in there, obviously. So I've got a load of guitars, so I thought might as well get some of those. Uh, stupidly, um, obviously they don't fit for this P90 dog ear pickup in here, um, which I'll get to in a minute. All right, thing that surprised me the most in the package was a pack of Roto uh, yellows, so 10 to 46, which is a gauge I use quite a lot anyway. Um, I just noticed there's a bare knuckle sticker on there in the 10. <laughs> so I was, uh, yeah, that was a nice surprise. Free strings, I love strings. They're very useful. Um, a cool pick. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. I want to use this. It's like one mil, yeah? Um, but I don't want to wear it out. But it feels really nice, like a nice pick. Okay. Um, this I enjoyed. Anyone who is missing a pub as much as me would recognize this as a coaster but I'm not going to put my beer on that either. I'm going to keep it because it's quite nice. Yeah. Wound. Made and played the traditional way by hand. Which is what it says on the back. Okay. Bare knuckle pickups. Um, then I got a flyer. Bare knuckle pickups. The hand wound sound made to be played for life. Okay. That's cool. Nothing on the back. Just a little flyer. This is the warranty slip. I'm not going to read to you. Um, nearly there. These I found nestling at the bottom of the box underneath the foam. Now, I thought at first, oh, it's just a couple of old screws. But no, they're not just a couple of old screws. As you can see, they kind of, they look old, but on closer inspection, they're the same finish as the pole pieces I specified on the pickup, which is burnt chrome, which is what I'll show you now. So again, I was, I did mention this in the other video. Dog-eared P90 pickup, look at that. Really cool colors. And they're hex bolts, okay? They're not screw heads, which means no slippage, which is good um, when you're tightening them or raising them or lowering them. Okay, oh, and it does have engraved on the back, bare knuckle pickups, hand wound in the UK, which I thought was Nice, like etched in there, yeah. But yeah, this um, these coloured burnt chrome pole pieces, obviously they match, or these screws match them. I didn't expect to get those. It was a nice surprise. Um, so I can't wait for that to go in there. It's a Pig 90, which is a P90, but hot rodded. So this is apparently about 20K. So it will like literally melt your face off. Um, but hopefully it should be still pleasantly controllable and everything, but we'll find out when it goes in um, the guitar. Yeah, um, you do have a choice of type of um, conductors you want. 
Um, I just got the simple braided and then a single wire in the middle because I'm not mucking about with any coil tapping. Not that you can do that because it's a single coil. But I think there are some other options, but I went for that one. Um, cool. That's it. I will be back uh, soon with a video where I install it. I've got a copper shield, the cavity on that guitar as well, uh, which I'll do hopefully at the same time. Uh, and then I'll install that and it should be rocking. Cool. So again, big thanks to Timmy at Bare Knuckle Pickups uh, for the advice. This was, so altogether this came to like 100 and, I don't know, 110 quid or something like that. Um, hand wound, uh, scatter wound, and they're basically each one is done to order. So, you know, you're getting yourself, you could specify other things if you wanted. Um, the only one thing that I was, that is a bit disappointed about this type of pickup that they do the dog-eared ones is there's only two finishes available for the case which is black plastic or white plastic okay if you have a soap bar one so it's just like that without the ears but they're a bit longer i suppose they come out to about there or something um that one those ones same pickup but you can get tons of different finishes different colors etched finishes scratched up cases graphics lasered on there all kinds of stuff really cool um, but not these ones, so which is why I went for custom customization of this, these parts. Okay, cool, good, nice to talk to you again. Bit brighter, um, yeah. I'm gonna go now. Ah.